Hi, I'm Navidan Sari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use aim offset. So there is a time that you want to aim at something. You can use control rig, and I did show you how you can use control rig. Uh, but there is other options that looks a lot better. And I think the game like uh, Plague Tale, the game like uh, Resident Evil, and all of that use aim offset, not control rig, for this one. So let me show you how it's done. So we have this game, and this is our character. We can run and we can jump, right? But we can't. Um, we can't aim at nothing. You can see when we go right and left, it's not aiming at anything. So so the way to do it in here let's just go and and see the poses so how this aim offset work it use some poses okay so if i go here and find all the animation in here and search for ao for aim offset and you can see if i uh, for example open this one for example this one this is for when we aim forward and you can see it's called aocc right and cd for center down and it can aim down right but the cool things about this is that all of these uh, bones in here all of these objects in here will be perfectly placed for our aiming so let me show you another one left down so you can see it's aiming left down and we can combine all of these to have a really cool aiming so for doing that let's just go here I I did create a folder in here what i want to do i want to right click in here go to animation and this time use aim offset okay and it will tell us which one do you want to use i want to use a uh, wraith a skeleton the character that we have right i want to call it ao for aim offset and i want to call it raf because i don't know how to uh how this character called so double click on it when you open it it's look a blender space 2d and you can see it has a horizontal and vertical axis in here and um it has a asset detail panel in here that we can choose the horizontal axis and a vertical axis values okay so with this i want to change the uh, vertical horizontal axis to yaw okay the yaw where we are looking at right so this one should be yaw and this one should be pitch so let's just go to vertical axis. I want to put pitch in there. Okay. And the, the minimum axis value and maximum axis value for both of them, I want to use minus 90 to 90. I think it is more than enough. So let's just do it for pitch as well. Minus 90 and 90, right? So this is it. This is our aim offset. Now let's just search for AO. And uh, I want to use the AOs for combat when we are want to go for combat, right? We want to shoot our weapon. And you can see there is a lot of them in here. For example, AOCC, that is center center, okay? It is in the middle in here right the center center aim offset and right off the bat when i put it in there the uh, skeleton is gone why because i think it is a bug and oh when you put something in here it will change the preview base pose so let's just again use idle this one for example idle combat and another thing that i want to do i want to go to horizontal axis and vertical axis and uh, turn on the snap to greet okay turn on the both of them so we can put all of these um at the right location so um the yaw the yaw is between minus 90 and 90 when we aim forward it means the yaw and pitch is zero when we aim up it means the pitch is 90 but the yaw is zero when we aim down it means the pitch is minus 90 and the yaw again is zero but when we are like this and aim left it means the yaw no is minus 90 because i'm aiming at left i left of me so the yaw is minus 90 and the pitch is zero but if we look up this way it it's uh, the yaw no is minus 90 but the pitch is 90 right i will show you again don't worry about it so uh, another one idle aocd and this is for center down it means the yaw is at center and the pitch is down the pitch is 90 and the yaw is center it means zero so center down okay again the skeleton is gone let's just do it all and after that go here and change the preview base post so uh next one one is AO let me search it center up CU right in combat let's just put it there um, CU center it means yeah it's at center okay horizontally we are at the center and vertically we are at top right we put it there no it's okay let's just again change the idle change the preview pose to idle again so in here if I hold control and go up you can see it aim down it aim up and everything is good now let's just do all the uh left and right so let me again show you the 
the next one is lc it means left center the left center is in here right the ld left down left down the lu l up so we can put it there and let me find the other one rc right center so let's just put it there right down rd right up ru right so again let's just go here and change the uh preview pose in here to idle again idle combat and no if you hold control you can see it can it can aim to the right down it can aim to the left down it can aim up left it can aim right up <laughs> and it can aim everywhere right the left is going to the left and the right is going to the right and everything i think is working fine no with this aim offset we need to provide it with the pitch and yeah so let's just save this and no let's just open up our animation blueprint go to anim graph and you can see there is just a ground locomotion and locomotion so we can jump walk run and all of that no with this we want to use our ao that is aim offset raf we can just drag and drop it over here okay no we can put this at the base pose and we can give we should give it the yaw and pitch right we didn't calculate that we need to calculate both of them so this is one way to do it but the best way to do it is by layer blend per bone okay so for doing that we should disconnect all of these and first of all cache this one so let's just say search for cache this one is caching ground locomotion it's, ca it's caching locomotion so let's just change it to locomotion i hope i write it correctly no of course i'm not locomotion okay so this is our cached one and what i want to do i want to use this cache one okay use locomotion okay use this cache one and use layer blend per bone okay the base pose we all know that it should be locomotion but the blend pose we need it to be our ao our aim offset right and with that we should click on layer bone to tell it from which bone to top it should use uh, aim offset and from which bone to down use locomotion so what i want to do let's just uh, open up one of the animation for example animation offset and go here i want to use a spine one so for example in here that if from a spine one to top i want to have all of these aim offset animation and from a spine one to down i want to have all the animation of walking running and jumping right so let's just right click on this spine one and copy its name go to animation blueprint click on layer blend blend per bone and go to layer setup index zero batch filters and click in here to add another one and paste the name here and that's all you need to do so you need to uh, choose mesh space rotation blend so uh, with that it will use the rotation of this aim offset so this aim offset should be more important than this for the uh, top top half of our uh, character body right this aim offset needs a base pose as well so we can use this locomotion again okay paste it here and use it in here as well right so no i think everything is cool and we can connect this here and if we compile no you can see everything is working fine but we didn't calculate the yaw and pitch okay everything is finished in here so for calculating the yaw and pitch it's quite easy so for doing that let me first show you how you can do that i want to get our character okay like this go here get controller rotation and what this get control rotation gives us is just where our camera is looking at right and again i want to use middle mouse in here to create a break node in here and in here again i want to get actor rotation okay and this actor rotation will give us the rotation that our mesh our character is looking at i will show you don't worry so let me run our game to show you right now you can see our actor is looking forward okay so the actor rotation is zero 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 and if i go to right now you can see our camera is looking at 90 degree but our character is looking forward so the controller rotation is 90 but the actor or mesh or a skeletal mesh or or character rotation is zero again because it's not changing its uh, uh rotation right so as long as our character is looking forward the actor rotation is zero but with the camera changing its position you can see the camera right now is 90 and if i go here it's minus 90 let me show you that 
forgetting that we can get the delta rotator okay and give it the control rotation and actor rotations and what it will give us it will give us the difference the delta between these two rotation so the difference between where our camera is looking at and where our character is looking at right so now with that if i right click in here and split stroke pin you can see it will give us a pitch yaw right so let's just print the yaw for me to show you right so for doing that i want to use an execution pin here and and um, I want to print something, right? Print a string. And with this print a string, I want to print the yaw, right? Everything cool? Now let's just compile and see. Right now, our camera is looking forward. Our character is looking forward. So zero, right? The delta is zero. But if we go, if the camera look at the right of our character, now you can see the difference between the where our character is looking at and where our camera is looking at is 90 degree. And our camera, if we go to the right side and look at the left side, you can see the difference between the rotation of where our character is looking at and where our camera is looking at is minus 90 so we can use that right so what i want to do i want to right click on here promote it to variable easy right and in here i want to hold control and connect this execution pin to here right so again i want to right click in here and promote the yaw as well okay so now we are calculating the pitch and yaw right everything cool now with these values if you go to anim graph we can use the pitch like this on pitch and yaw on yaw so let's just compile and run our game now you can see our gun is looking at the left and up and down you can see it no our character is looking uh, no our gun is aiming up aiming down aiming left and aiming right you can see everything is cool so that was how you can use aim offset in your animation blueprint and with your character i hope you like this video please if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye